Hi, my name is Gabriella Falars, and I am the founder of Celebrate Yourself, which is a blog dedicated to size acceptance and helping large women and men feel good about themselves despite the societal pressures that we receive on a daily basis. Um, I wanted to do an introductory video and tell you guys a little bit about myself and why I decided to start doing this blog and slash vlog because I've started doing videos now. I've been writing my blog for a little over a year and I just started uh, incorporating videos into into my blog uh, recently, like within about the past month or two. So I just wanted to welcome everybody who comes to my channel to check out my my blog and say hi, tell you a bit about myself, what I'm all about, why I decided to found Celebrate Yourself in the first place, and what I hope to achieve with it. Um, first of all, I have been a large person for the majority of my life. Ever since I was about 10 years old, I've had a weight issue. And I've gone up and down the scale. I've been all over the place, like many of you watching. I've been on countless diets. Uh, at one point, I went on a, I, an extreme starvation diet for about six months, lost over 100 pounds, and gained most of it back. If not all, probably more. I don't know. I don't get on the scale anymore. I don't believe in scales. <laughs> um, I just think they, they're they counterproductive. Um, I believe in living a healthy lifestyle. I believe it's possible to be healthy and large. Although, uh, you know, the, the vast majority of people out there believe the opposite. Uh, they believe all the propaganda that being large means lack of health, disease, disability, all kinds of, you know, stuff like that. It's it's not true. Um, anyway, as I said, I've, I've been a large person for the majority of my life, and of course that's one of the reasons that I started a blog on size acceptance. For, for many years I, I tried to do the thin thing. I tried to fit in. I tried to conform. I tried to get my body to behave and and adopt the the size and shape that society uh, told me was right for me, and it just, it just didn't keep, you know, I mean, I lost the weight numerous times, but it never stayed off, and I finally came to the point where I decided it was either accept myself the way I am, or continue to struggle and suffer and hate myself, which I believe is totally unnecessary, and I don't believe anybody else should do it either. It's perfectly possible to be a large person and, as I said, be healthy and have a happy life. So that's what I've chosen to do. And I started my blog as a way to help other women and men as well um, cope with, with life in a thin-centric world, in, in a world where we're constantly told that the way we look is not acceptable, it's not beautiful, it's not sexy, it's not appealing. Um, this just is not true. And I have, I have so many role models that inspired me in this, in this endeavor that I have been enjoying for many years. Uh, most of them are in the States. Um, I, am in, I live in Toronto, Canada, so I forgot to tell you that. I am a Canadian. I live in Toronto. And there is nobody in Canada that I know of who is a size acceptance advocate, who is really out there and speaking up and fighting for um, size acceptance and fat people's rights and fighting against discrimination. There are a few minor, you know, programs here and there. I've seen yoga for all bodies, which is great, um, and, you know, a couple of other workshops here and there, but there's no, there's no organization, there's no, nobody really in the media who um, has stood out and spoken up about size acceptance. It just seems to be non-existent here. However, in the, in the States for many years, there have been many great people who have inspired me and who I admire a great deal. Um, among them, first and foremost, I have to mention a woman named Rocky, who has a radio show and a magazine called Large in Charge. And she has been a tremendous inspiration to me. Um, 
in her work for Fight for Size Acceptance. Um, you can find her on iTunes, her radio show, and you can find her on the internet. Raqi is her name, R-A-Q-U-I. I urge you all to look her up. Marilyn Wan, of course, she was the, the, the forerunner for all of us, the inspiration for all of us um, in California. Uh, Bill Fabry, who was the founder of NAFA um, many, many years ago. Alice Ansfield, who used to edit a great, ma- well, she still does, I believe she's still editing Radiance Magazine, but it's online now, it's not a, uh, a print publication anymore. And Carol Shaw, who also edited BBW Magazine many years ago. And um, who else? Who else is an inspiration? Oh, how could I forget? Virgie Tovar fabulous fat girl. She is wonderful. I love her so much. She is so bright, vivacious, smart, um, sexy. Virgie, you rock. I love your videos. She is also on Facebook. She's on YouTube. Check her out, people. I mean, these these are just a, a handful of people who have really uh, inspired me to, to pick up the torch and, and try to get the word out here in Canada and bring us up to date a bit. Um, so thank you to all all of you who have inspired me in, in the past and continue to inspire me. Um, I hope that I can, you know, be worthy of, of sharing your company. Um, so uh, where was the, oh yes, okay, the, uh, the deciding, actually the deciding factor that got me to start my blog was a magazine article, actually it was a, a blog itself that inspired it, uh, a woman who was writing for Marie Claire magazine. I forget her name. She's so forgettable, but her article was not forgettable. It was she was writing about um, the TV show Mike and Molly, and talking about how disgusted she was at seeing fat people kissing and making out on TV. Um, I'm sorry, I should have looked at. I should remember her name. I I will get it to you. But uh, anyways, that article just really incensed me and got me extremely angry, and that's why I decided to uh, start my blog over a year ago. And like I said, I want to inspire all of you, all you large people out there, to love yourselves and go out and get what you want and have a great life because it is totally, totally possible to do so. Um, Once again, I want to thank all of you for visiting. I hope you come back often and check out my videos. I hope you go to my blog, check out my blog. I'm on Facebook if you want to hit me up there under my name. Um... And please, I I urge you all to leave comments for me and feedback. I I really love hearing from you. And it helps me also to to decide what I'm going to blog about. Uh, If there's anybody who has a question or anything like that, or some kind of issue that they want me to address or or that they want to speak about, please just let me know. And um, just one final note. If you do disagree with me in on anything, that's absolutely fine. I, I welcome all opinions. All I ask is that you're respectful, and I will be respectful to you in return. Um, that's all that I ask. I'm an open-minded person. I realize that everybody has their own views. People aren't always going to agree with me, but just if we can you know, talk to each other as civil human beings, that's, that's a big help. So anyways, I hope that that gives you a bit of background about me and my blog, and that's it. Thanks very much for coming by. I appreciate it. Bye.